Okay, so back to work after a one week holiday here. So we don't always measure stairwells in bits and pieces. We, we made this 3D SketchUp just to demonstrate detailed takeoffs. Now the concept applies to any other section of a building that a painting contractor may want us to measure. You know, even parkets in high rise buildings uh, with beams, posts, you know, canopy, epoxy floors and so on. So let's get started with this. You can see the SketchUp is in multiple colors so you can follow along easily between the blueprint and the uh, SketchUp so that you don't have to visualize everything. You can just look on the screen and understand what's going on. So I'll try not to talk too much so you, you can just observe and try to see how we are doing our detailed takeoffs or measuring. Okay, so there's the blueprint on the right hand side and the SketchUp 3D model on the left side. So we are just going to align it and then we'll get started. Okay, so these are all the sections here with the details, you know, the steel channel and and then the deck over here, the guardrails, handrails, etc. The spindles are in green. Um, you'll know why in a, in a minute here. So this deck here will also be measured and this is how it will look. Uh, so, uh, you know, um, just assuming we were painting it in different colors. Again, this is for demonstration only. Okay, so what we'll do is, uh, I think we'll start measuring uh, the stringers first. So let's start doing that. Now with stringers we measure it in linear feet. And one side is done. As you can see there's left and right side, so we'll have to double this. When we copy paste like this, it really saves us time. And we pass on the same as to the client, of course. We don't waste time remeasuring everything. The blue lines are the blue stringers on the left. Okay. And then we'll turn and everything is transferred here into the legend. And there's your deck over there with the joists in brown and green, which is over here on the right hand side. And it's in the legend. This is this blue box is called the legend where all the um, measurements are transferred automatically. And we have to measure the underside here also. That's done, 33.8 square feet. And then you have to measure the tread and riser. So each tread is three and a half square feet. And we can just multiply it by the number of steps. Again, this is very time saving. You don't need to remeasure everything. I'm, I'm sure that you would know that because it's very logical. And then transfer everything onto the spreadsheet over here. So you can see we have already transferred everything here because I don't want to make a long video. All these uh, sections of the staircase, we'll make it bigger here so you can see, are broken down over here. They are all transferred here in linear feet, number and square feet. Now, treads and risers, we like to count them. That's why it's in numbers. Uh, but some people need uh, square feet, so we can change the formula here and convert it into square feet if a painting contractor wants to price it square feet wise. It would be 20 times 7.5. But uh, most painting contractors like to price stairs or treads by, you know, per piece. 
So we change it to numbers or, or units, 20 units. Okay, now we go to the next part over here. Uh, okay, so now we'll do some guardrails and posts and balusters or pickets as I like to call them, which are in green. We don't need to measure everything individually, so we'll use a formula and I'll show you on the screen how we are doing that. We can use the formula because we know the measurement of the railings, the top rail and the bottom rail, which are both 30 linear feet. So I've cut the video right down to the spreadsheet, but you, you'll still be able to see the formulas. So the bottom here, bottom railing which was shown in pink is also there and then we are able to determine the linear footage, linear footage rather of the posts which are one and a half inches wide by using that formula. Now you don't need to worry too much about the formula because we take care of it. I'm just demonstrating how we do the, the take-offs and how we do the spreadsheet. So the pickets are also measured using a formula and a technique. We, you see the, the, the length between, between each uh, picket is three and a quarter inches, which we incorporate into the formula. And then we put it in the quantity box. There it is, 3.25 inches. And that gives you the linear footage and then everything is done. So the painting contract will just put in his uh, rate it should be four dollars three seventy or, or whatever your rate is you just put it there and then the totals are calculated automatically in excel so instead of doing all of that we can also just do measure the guardrails uh, by the set or the the stair the staircase by the set and we can just have the pricing so the contractor would would put in a pricing of let's say twenty seven dollars and fifty cents per linear foot. We know that the top rail is thirty linear feet, so each section is twenty seven dollars and fifty cents, and that gives you the same cost of eight hundred and twenty five dollars. So just take a look here, just follow my cursor along and see what's going on. There's your 27 and there's your $825. So that's pretty much it. That's how we measure details of a, of a drawing. Now we don't always do staircases like this. Like I said, it's just a demonstration to show you various parts that can be measured. And that's about it. So we'll see you in our next video. If you have any questions, uh, you can just uh, email me from my website. I don't check uh, the YouTube comments much because I simply don't have time for that. But you can always email me. And thank you for watching this video.